in today's lecture we will try to do force analysis on bevel gear and we will try to solve problem 13.43 for the given problem this is the diagram where we have two gears gear 2 and gear 3 the pinion gear is rotating like this and the torque given to it from the source is tn this pinion or gear 2 is mounted on shaft a and gear 3 is mounted on shaft b b now in the problem we are given that pinion has 16 teeth and pressure angle is 20 32 teeth on gear 3 2.5 horsepower is received by shaft a from the source and the pinion is rotating with 240 rpm now we will have to find the reaction forces at bearing b and bearing a bearing a is taking both the thrust and radial force the force exerted between the gears will be at this point this distance is given to be 2 and this is 2.5 inches this is x and y axis this 2 inches is the diameter in fact radius of pinion gear the distance from y axis to the point where force is exerted is not given to us so we will have to find it out now to find it out let's take this triangle this is angle gamma so this is also equals to gamma from that diagram we will find out its perpendicular component and from which we will find out this distance this is 1.5 so this side is also 1.5 which is the hypotenuse of that tri triangle for this tri right angle triangle perpendicular is equal to h sin gamma so p equals to 1.5 sin gamma divide this perpendicular side by 2 which will give this which will give us this distance now in case of bevel gear the force is exerted at average radius because the radius is not constant so our average will be equals to 2 minus 1.5 sin gamma divided by 2 this 2 inches is the radius of the pinion and this 4 inches is the radius of the gear now to find gamma let's draw this right angle triangle this is the angle gamma the base is the radius of gear 3 and the perpendicular is the radius of the pinion tangent gamma is equal to perpendicular by base which is equal to 2 by 4 so gamma equals to 26.565 now for tangent capital gamma we can take this right angle triangle or this right angle triangle this will be the base and this one will be the perpendicular so tangent capital gamma will be equals to 4 by 2 so gamma is equal to 26.565 degree and capital gamma is equal to 63.435 degree now let's find or draw the free bird diagram of shaft a this is y axis along the shaft axis this is x axis and this is z axis this is the in input torque which is equal to 63.025 h by n in this problem h is equal to 2.5 and n equals to 240 rpm so putting these values it will give us torque is equal to 656.5 pound inch this torque is transmitted from the shaft a to the shaft b through the tangential force exerted by gear 2 on gear 3 which will in return exert the same amount of force in opposite direction to find it as we know that torque is equal to r cross f here f is wt which is the force responsible for torque transmission and here r is the r average our average as the radius of the pinion where the force is exerted so wt is equal to t by r average and r average in the start of the lecture we said that r average is equal to 2 minus 1.5 sine gamma which is 26.565 and divide by 2 so r average is equal to 1.7 inches now put the values of t and r average to find wt but before that let's show how the rectangular components wr wr and wt are exerted this is how it is and this is the radius of the pinion and this is the point where the force is exerted that is resolved into its rectangular components the distance from y axis up to this point is r average so put the value of torque and r average in this formula which will give us wt is equal to 386 pound force now we will find out wr and wa wr is equal to wt tangent of 20 cos 26.565 and wa is equal to wt tangent of 20 sine 26.565 now let's talk about its direction wr is always along the radius since on shaft a we have two bearings bearing a and b which is taking the thrust load so thrust load will be against it so wa will be in negative y direction wt will be in positive z direction that is it is end to the page or end to the screen of your laptop or mobile so wr is equal to 114.66 and wa is equal to 50.8 at 3 lbf now we can write these components in the form of unit vectors so w is equal to 114.66 i because this wr is in positive x direction so i is also positive and w is in negative y direction so that is why we have written this with negative sign and this wt is in positive z direction so 386 with unit vector positive k now the distance from the pinion up to point b is 
2 inches and the bevel gear is something like this mounted on the shaft this distance is not given to us and this whole distance is named as A now let's make this rectangle triangle again and this pinion gear this hypotenuse was 1.5 now let's find out this base of this rectangle triangle and divide that by 2 and then add that with this 2 which will give us A so this base A 1.5 cos 26.565 divide by 2 and add that with the 2 so a is equal to 2.6 at 6 inches we know this value this value and this value so we can find out distance between between point a and g Re uh, represent their distance by r a j write r a j in term of unit vectors write this component with the unit vector j because it is in positive y direction and and this r average with the unit vector minus i because it is in negative x direction so r a j equals to minus 1.7 i plus 2.6 at 6 j plus 2.5j which is equal to minus 1.7i plus 5.186j represent the distance between a and b by r a b which is 2.5 and draw that with unit vector j because it is in y direction now let's draw the forces or the reactions at bearing a in x z and y directions write all of them in positive directions later on its true direction will be find it out thrust load will be against w a so thrust load is in positive y direction similarly draw the reaction forces at the b in x and z direction there is no reaction in the y direction because the thrust load is taken by bearing a now let's find out the moment moment at point a so for that write the force at point b in unit vector form or fb is equal to fb xi plus fb z k W is already given in unit vector form. So moment at point A is equal to this distance R A G cross W plus R A B cross F B plus tar T. Now first of all let's take R A B cross F B. R A B is equal to 2.5 J and F B is equal to F B X I plus F B Z K. So its cross product will give us 2.5 F B X I plus 2.5 F B Z K. K. Now R A G cross W is equal to this so minus 1.7 i cross w plus 5.1 at 6 j cross w when you multiply minus 1.7 i with i component of the w it will give us 0 and when you multiply minus 1.7 i cross 50.3 j it will give us 86.4 k minus 1.7 i cross 386 it will give us 656.2 and i cross k will give us minus j as a whole it will give us positive or plus 656.2 j now take 5.1 at 6 j and multiply it with the i component and k component to give its respective values j cross j component will get zero so r a g cross w is equal to 86.41 k plus 656.2 j plus minus 594.63 k plus 2001.8 i now add the two k components which will give us minus 508k so r a g cross w is equal to 2001.8 i plus 656.2 j minus 508k we have obtained this we and we have obtained this as well this is this and this is equal to this t is actually the tn you can also obtain it by solving this equation here this is the positive sign not the negative take these i components or sum of forces in x direction equals to zero so f of bz is equal to minus at 100.7 similarly take these j components or sum of forces in j or y direction equals to zero so torque is equal to 656.2 lbf inch now take k components sum of forces in k or z direction equals to zero so f of bx is equal to minus 203.2 lbf this f of bz is negative not positive fb will be equals to under the root fbz whole square plus fbx whole square so putting the values we will get fb is equal to at 26.1 now to find out the forces at point a or bearing a take sum of forces in x direction equals to 0 and y direction equals to 0 and in z direction equals to 0 so for x direction f of x plus f of bx plus wr equals to 0 putting values of f of bx and wt wr so f of x is equal to 88.6 lbf similarly for z direction f of az plus f of bz plus wt is equal to 0 so by putting values we will get 414.7 to lbf now for y direction f of a y minus w a equals to zero so f of a y equals to w a which is equal to 50.83 lbf now finding f of a from pythagoras theorem which is equal to under the root f of a x square plus f of a y square plus f of a z square so by putting the values we will get f of a equals to 
427 LDF. Here f of ay is actually the thrust load.